Hi guys, welcome back again. In this video, we are going to talk about Capgemini interview experiences shared by different uh, background students. I'm going to share it with you guys so that it may help you to prepare well for your interview in the right direction. So let's get started. Here we go. First interview experience is shared by Bhargavi from EC background. It started with introduction. Tell me about your project. Which language do you, do you know? I said C and Python. Write a code to display a multiplication table. Okay. What is the difference between structure and union? What is the use of DBMS? Explain it with example. And what is null pointer? Okay. That was her experience. Let's move to the next. Hello, ma'am. Uh, these are the questions for Capgemini interview. Can't remember all, but as it's been a month now. Introduce yourself. What is the programming language you know the most? Project, as I mentioned a couple of them in my resume. What is a constructor? What is a class? Normal class versus super class. Keys in SQL, primary key, foreign key. What is AI? Any knowledge on cloud computing and such basic questions. HR question didn't happen at all for me. Don't know why. The whole TR lasted for 10 to 12 minutes. And later I received a mail asking to accept the offer. The tip I can give to aspirant is be confident, be fluent with your language. It's okay even if you don't recollect the exact answer but try to give something relatable. I was not able to answer one to two questions but still managed to give some uh, you know sometimes relatable. This is really a, a great suggestion from his side. Uh, yeah at least you should give a hint about whatever you know just spit it out over there. What if because it's only one chance you're going to get and you should not regret, regret after uh, your interview. I have something to announce. Do you need mentor? Of course, everyone needs one to grow higher in their career. I too believe in that. So guys, crack an academy gate champ to win a chance to be mentored by the best, which is scheduling on 24th of October. So all you have to do, enroll the test, compete with the learner, win personal guidance, from panel of top educator and 100% scholarship and get an in-depth topic wise analysis. Sounds great, right? So guys, those who are looking for 100% scholarship and a mentor, this is a great opportunity for you. Take a test on 24th of Oct. In addition to that, those who are targeting GATE 2022, Guys, check out the Unacademy's Rank Improvement Batch for GATE 2022, which is for CSE and IT student. And this batch is starting on 28th of October, means from tomorrow. And in this batch, top educator will take practice session on each subject, followed by a subject test and an analysis session of the subject test in a live session. So for that, you need to get the subscription. And you know what, if you are using the coupon code TEL10, you can get 10% discount. And all you have to pay is, instead of 32,450, you need to pay only 29,205. So guys, this is a great opportunity. Check it out. All links are there in the description. Uh, let's move to the next interview experience. This is shared by one EC student. Assessment was on 28th of August. Technical round was 16th and HR was on 18th of September. Tell me about yourself. Short term, long term goal. What language are you comfortable with? What is iteration, recursion, loop, array, length of string, diode, type of diodes, Zener diode and avalanche breakdown, capacity use and do you have any questions for me? That's it for technical round and within two days, college TPO sent HR round detail with help which happened for 10 minutes. It started with tell me about yourself, favorite subject, choose a topic and speak for three minutes, 
being an ec student why it why do you, what do you know about capchimney are you aware of two year bond are you okay with relocation that's it for hr ma'am 27th on 27th september tpo sent selected candidate list and i got shortlisted for capchimney congratulations to you let's move to one more interview experience this seems to be from csi it student it started with tell me about yourself explain any one project you have mentioned and real time application of your project where do you used python my project is based on python and ml what is in it in python in which language python is written do you know any database what is ddl dml and with example do you know about capgemini any question to ask in h round which lasts for 5 to 6 minute tell me about yourself explain your project and your role in it what are your long term career goals are you okay with the agreement and package now let's move to the other experience it is proper capgemini analyst role interview type is technical based on the written exam score this was given technical or hr so after clearing the written test the pseudo code round the verbal ability round the game based aptitude round and behavioral competency i would share the list of shortlisted candidate so then after being shortlisted approx 2 week later i got uh, notified by college as well as by supercell that i have my interview on 16 september 2021 the day before one was informed Oh my god means it was a sudden interview call so be prepared guys be prepared in advance i was logged in prior 10 minutes as asked by the college at the superset account and my interview was scheduled at 10 am but it took place at 10:15 am and ended within 10:25 am i joined so pretty basic the interview introduced himself and asked me to introduce myself i did and then asked me about my mini project rather than asking me about my final year project i explained him what it is and how i have done it but he was not very much interested in listening to that and didn't even cross question me then he asked me about my role since my mini project was done by me only so i said that it was solely done by me then again no cross question then he asked me about database so i said yes and my resume was not updated i updated from mysql to oracle so he said you should be updating your resume so i said sir yes i know mysql but i am not confident but i can try further i added that i am confident with oracle but he didn't say anything and moved on with asking whether i i have learned any new technology that i am currently learning so i said ml and he didn't ask any question further then he asked any questions for him i asked him what does capgemini expect from a fresher and any feedback that he want to give me he said it was against company policy to share any feedback or suggestion then he asked me any more questions i said no and said him that it was my first interview and i was really nervous and thanked him for making the session interactive one okay quite in detail and yeah the interviewer is looking quite moody over here i don't know why anyways it really depends on interviewer to interview thanks for sharing all these experiences with me guys and this is really definitely going to help uh, many people who are watching it and keep sharing your experiences guys with your branch and with your company name you can email me i'll provide you my email id in the description box so thank you guys uh, thank you so much for watching this hope this video was informative to you if it was informative to you don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you guys thank you for watching